welcome back my dear students today in this video we'll cover the chapter the luncheon from your literature book it is written by william somerset maugham before i proceed with the explanation of the chapter i would like you to look at the picture and the title and then correlate the both yes here you have found it is lunch lying on the table and i say it is luncheon what is the difference lunch is a normal food that we take in afternoon in routine we take and luncheon is a formal meal as a part of a meeting or for entertaining a guest that is luncheon when you are invited somewhere or you invite someone at your place for food it is said to be luncheon here is the summary of the chapter the narrator of the story was a struggling writer he lived in a tiny apartment in latin quarters he had very less money to keep his body and soul together to keep his body and soul together is a phrase and it means to stay alive even in difficult circumstances so here we are clear about that the story is of narrator who is an upcoming writer who has a tough time earning his livelihood he is not able to earn much one of his readers was a lady admirer who knew the writer through his published book she appreciated the writer through a letter thereafter she wished to meet him as she was passing through paris she decided to meet him at fayot's on luncheon the narrator was flattered and he was too young to say no to the lady so he accepted it the meeting was decided here you have to note down fayot's is one of the most expensive restaurants in paris story of 80 francs the narrator had total 80 francs in his pocket to manage the whole month his thoughts he thought lunch could not co cost more than 15 francs if he cut coffee for the next two weeks those 15 francs would be balanced it means if he cut coffee for the next two weeks if he won't take coffee for the next two weeks he would be able to manage those 15 francs the lady she was a woman of 40 appearance was imposing i mean impressive rather than attractive she was very talkative being at fayots on thursday at half past 12 at 12:30 pm they had meeting the lady said in the beginning of the meeting i never eat anything on luncheon the narrator was delighted on hearing this that he was going to save money but later on he thought we are having a meeting and she should eat something on insisting by the narrator she showed interest in eating salmon fish later on she ordered heavy and expensive dishes one by one caviar champagne asparagus all the expensive dishes were ordered by the lady look at this was ordered salmon champagne caviar asparagus all the expensive dishes were ordered by the lady and she didn't care about the pocket of the narrator the narrator ordered mutton the cheapest of all items for himself the lady scolded him for eating such a heavy dish 
And the lady talked merrily, very happily she was talking on art, literature and music. While the lady was eating royal and expensive dishes, the narrator was thinking only about the bill, about his pocket. If the bill came, more than the amount he had. How much amount? What is the amount? It is 80 francs. He would pretend that his pocket had been picked by someone. Some burglars picked his pocket. Or he would pawn his watch. Or pawn means to give his watch to the manager and he would pay the money later. Irony. Irony is that tool or that situation which signifies something opposite. There are three types of ironies, verbal irony, dramatic irony and situational irony. But here we are concerned only with verbal irony. Let me first give you one example. See, this is chocolate and I'm eating it. And if I say, I hate those people who eat chocolate. See, I myself am eating chocolate and I am talking about that I hate those people who eat chocolate. This is opposite to what I say. Verbal irony is when what is said is the opposite of literal meaning. Here in the story, the lady, she said in the beginning, I don't eat anything on luncheon. And later on, she said, I don't eat more than one thing on luncheon. And later she said, I don't eat heavy dishes on luncheon or anything heavy on luncheon means whatever was said by the lady was opposite to what she was doing so this is ironical no doubt it is important let us proceed with the story on asking coffee by the narrator she demanded ice cream with the coffee one more thing she has added Further, the waiter offered a basket full of large sized peaches and the lady generously picked one out of those peaches. Finally, the bill came. We all are excited to know how much it was. Yes, it was 77 francs and he had total of 80 francs in his pocket. Finally, he didn't have to face embarrassment. The waiter returned three francs and put three francs on the table. When the lady stared at him that he was going to take those three francs, then the narrator left those three francs on the table as tip. They bade farewell to each other, means they said farewell, they said goodbye to each other. After 20 years, narrator's gratification. Gratification means satisfaction. The narrator got gratified. He got satisfied after 20 years when he met the lady in a theater. See, the lady, she was overweight like a sausage bag. She weighed 21 stone. See, we measure our weight in kgs and here it is mentioned in stones one stone is equal to 6.35 kg and she weighed 21 stone means 133 kgs she was overweight she was like a sausage bag and narrator got gratified the narrator was really happy on meeting the woman second time because the lady had grown excessively fat he felt happy as this lady ate shamelessly at the cost of others' pocket. She had put the narrator to great inconvenience by having food at food at Fayot's restaurant. That's all for today. Thank you.